These delegates here have joined the 7th International Arctic Conference devoted to sustainable development of the Arctic region, which is of international interest. Russia heads the Arctic Council in 2021-2023, the chairmanship priority areas becoming the key topics of the discussion at the conference. Прежде всего, это комплексное развитие арктического региона, социальное развитие, улучшение благосостояния жителей, это экономическое освоение региона. The Arctic zone produces more than 80% of gas and 70% of oil in Russia. New deposits exploration and modernization of existing enterprises are fundamentally important for the development of the region and the country's economy. Есть такой термин или показатель коэффициент нефтеизлечения, КИН. Он сегодня у нас 0,3. То есть э, из тех запасов, которые у нас есть, мы добываем всего 30%. Russia is interested in attracting small and mid-sized businesses to the Arctic. This segment largely provides for the services market in the northern regions. The Arctic Hectare program plays an important role in attracting new investments. I see the opportunity for people to improve their living conditions, on the other hand, to develop a tourist business. The program Arctic Hectare was created, was developed, was developed. The key factor for sustainable development is Arctic tourism having picturesque landscape, unique flora and fauna. The region has all the conditions for the Russian Arctic tourist brand to become a global one in the future. Это место силы создать сеть маршрутов и природного, и культурологического такого туризма с изучением традиций, новых явлений, креативных явлений сегодня. Да, возможно. Today, almost 2.5 million people live in Russia's Arctic zone. The participants discuss the opportunities of improving the living conditions of northerners and transport infrastructure in permafrost conditions. Russia's active position spread through 18% of its territory. 3 million square kilometers of unique nature is already facing environmental problems. Therefore, the main principle that was adopted in the further development of the Arctic is do not harm.